Hey guys, today let's play a game of Indivisible. This is a RPG platformer game. Um, I guess, I think it's an indie game too. Uh, this is from 2019 and uh, I think it's out on all platforms but I'm playing for the PC right now and trying it out. Um, I like the anime style opening of this game and the, yeah, the concept, so let's see. What is this? Okay, cool, so it's uh... <laughs> what, are we, what are we facing right now? What is this? Some kind of black hole interdimension thing? I don't know what this, what this thing is. I don't know what this is. This is unknown here. It's a huge light bar. I have no idea what this thing is. I don't know who other people are or anything. Just trying to kill this thing again. Man, I really wish that they uh, remake or the re remaster or remake Golden Sun. I think that would be awesome. That game is only for the GBA, and uh, they never did any remakes or remasters of it. Or made any sequels. I mean, since the DS version. So, yeah. Golden Sun, I think, is a series I really deserve. But anyways, I know there's a lot of dormant RPG series, right? Like the Chrono series, the obvious one, but, you know, also uh, Legend of the Rune. I know a lot of people want to remaster or uh, remake of that. Uh, Sweet Coden and Shadow Gears, right? This is a lot of good. Uh, Panzer Dragoon Saga would be another one that's really all time great. But, yeah, no remasters or remakes of it. Hold E and press A to fire something. What is this thing, anyways? What the heck? This black hole interdimension thing. What is this? Fire your cannon again. What becomes a conch shell? A conch shell? What? They turn into a conch shell. I don't even know who, who are all these people. There's no introductions. Okay, so interesting. I like uh, interesting graphics. Graphical style they went with here is uh, they went with a 3D background in a 2D. I know, I know. I wouldn't really skip trip. 2D characters on a 3D background. Interesting. <sighs> well, graphical style is pretty unique. Um, I like the hand-drawn type of 2D characters that you see on the screen here, but it's on a 3D background. So that's pretty unique, actually. But the the characters look very well drawn. So, that's nice. Look, I can even jump off of this. Thin air. Look at that. It's almost like it's a fighting game. <laughs> These characters look like they could come from Blaze Blue, actually, or Guilty Gear, honestly. That's pretty nice. Okay, well, who's this fr Like, what is this? A mouse? I don't, I don't know what that is. Is that is a mouse thing? Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, I like the hand-drawn characters. The backgrounds seem a little bit generic, but the characters are nice.
save valve. It's like a stuffed animal thing, I don't know what it is. It just died. Oh, I was supposed to jump on top of this. Oh. I was thinking I can do this Mega Man style. Yeah. This is training, Hush. I will. <sighs> oh. Gah! I... I... Yeah. Well... I... That's right. <laughs> when you have learned to concentrate... Really? Really. Right. They should be good practice. Go Team Ajna! Okay. Saved by the bell. <laughs> literally. It's literally saved by the bell. Alright. Wait, and it's come oh no. Just dash, baby. Dash. child I'll allow you to say your goodbyes but your life is forfeit heretic hush the hush down you go okay. now we have to do now we have to go turn-based combat we have to engage in turn-based combat now you must yes. Get all Turn-based combat. But Honestly, this feels like almost almost like a blaze blue guilty gear type fighting game right now. I mean, the graphics maybe not quite up to that level, but it's kind of like, kind of like an anime type fighting game. Maybe Nitro Blasters or Aquapaza. Not so big now that you're fighting one on one, are you? You haven't bested me yet, girl. Ah! Uh! What? This girl kind of reminds me of Talon from Soul Calibur. Maybe it's her outfit. Witch! With what magic? Imprisoned? You're the coward! Shut up! That makes no <laughs> My chakra. Inner realm. Oh yeah, I guess this girl's supposed to be Indian. Okay, chakra makes sense. What is this? I... Shut up. That. Well. <laughs> Wherever this is. But I. I told you. I... 
inner realm, interesting. I mean, I guess this is set in India, right? And the girl's Indian, because it says Chakra, which is kind of an Indian philosophy. And her dad's Indra something, right? And the, the names kind of seem Indian to me, so that makes sense. Okay, cool. I've never played a game where I played as an Indian girl. That's interesting. Father, I'm pleased to know that I'm gonna make you proud. Your father fought bravely. We're gonna find this Ravanavar, and you can either help me get to him. Oh, I'll bring you. To we'll see who makes a trophy of who. how this guy is apparently trapped within my mind. <laughs> apparently this guy is trapped within my mind and he comes out whenever I have to fight. <laughs> I don't get it. They never explain that. Anja and Dara. My dad is in my head somehow. So oh, you're coming so with us? So weird. She doesn't even question it. Where'd I go? Oh, where? Yeah, that's. I have told you. My name is Dar. Arjna. Uh. She just went into my head too. What the heck? Were you? Mm. Well. Hmm. That. Nice to meet you. I. Shut, Shut up. up. If I must. This is so weird. It's like they just randomly go inside my head. <laughs> it's never explained and she never really questions it. They just go inside my head and that's so weird. They just come out, I guess, whenever we fight. I mean, I know they're my party members, but still, it's, it's a bit strange. so dense and whatever killed him the axe you've always wanted to use this mm. Mm, I guess we're Uh, 
abilities. Okay. Hmm. How do I do I have any items to heal? Nope. Just what I need uh, to heal, I guess. told me something he was my subordinate feeling <laughs> <laughs> How is she absorbing people like this?
Where's my axe? I don't have my axe anymore. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop here, but anyways, this is Indivisible, uh, it is an RPG game that's pretty interesting, I mean, you have Zorb party members in your head and then they come out to fight with you, I guess. The art style is pretty unique, it's got a 3D background with hand-drawn characters, which is a pretty nice combination, I think. And uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of lighthearted and fun, I guess. Doesn't take itself too seriously, it looks like. And uh, the battle mechanics is a turn-based um, fighting system, as you can see. So anyways guys, that's Indivisible, Indivisible. Uh, I think it's an alright RPG, it's not the best one I've ever played, but it's pretty nice, it's not bad. So, those guys, thanks for watching.